Hello everyone and welcome to another video of Red Hat OpenShift Container Platform. In this demo I plan to show an integration between Synopsys Black Duck and Red Hat OpenShift and this can help organizations automatically scan, identify, and monitor the open source and all the container images deployed in Red Hat OpenShift. So I'll provide a brief overview of the Synopsys and Red Hat solution. I'll dive into the architecture a little bit, and then we'll jump into the demo. So you can see how Synopsys fits in if you think about all the security methods that are integrated in different points of the DevOps lifecycle. We see Synopsys here is a very good complement to Red Hat OpenShift. And their technology addresses the application analysis needs especially on the left side, where you can find security issues early, which saves time and money. Synopsys has enterprise capabilities in static analysis, which is great for your own custom code, software composition analysis, or SCA, which looks at the code that you bring in, and a couple other security methods that you'll find which interact with a running application, like dynamic analysis, and interactive analysis as well. Today's demo focuses on the Black Duck SCM capability, which analyzes the third-party dependencies you bring into your applications for license security and operational risks, and any policies that you've created related to your use of those dependencies. And so as we look at the Black Duck for OpenShift architecture, you'll see there are several integration points throughout a DevOps lifecycle. I'll be demoing uh, today is the one on the far right, where Black Duck has a certified operator. This installs the Black Duck connector. This is a, a microservice integration with a handful of containers, and it's responsible for scanning images when a pod creation event occurs, and then serving as the communication service with the Black Duck server to push scan results and to retrieve vulnerability and policy information, which it will then place on pods as labels and annotations. It is important to note the left side of this diagram where you will have options to integrate the detect functionality in your development tool of choice. Detect is a lightweight client which scans applications and images and interacts with your Black Duck server. All of this is backed by the Black Duck knowledge base. It's a huge database which contains almost four petabytes of data from over 23,000 sources. And the security information in that database, which includes enhanced security information, is maintained and provided by the Synopsys Security Research Center, which contains over 15 full-time security researchers. So if we jump over to the demo, we're looking at Red Hat OpenShift Container Platform and wanted to show the Operator Hub. If we go to the Security category and Certified Operators, you can see the Black Duck Connector Operator exists. It's just an easy click to install it. However, Red Hat can provide you with an OpenShift cluster that already has Black Duck for OpenShift installed. So if we take a look at that installation in this cluster, you'll see Synopsys Black Duck and the four pods listed here, the Opsite Core pod, which is the main piece of this microservice integration in charge of communicating with the Black Duck server and the rest of the containers. The pod processor is in charge of listening to those pod creation API events and writing information to pods, form of labels and annotations. You've got a Prometheus container that will give you some metrics on the activity, and then the actual scanner container, which does the scanning portion uh, when images are created in pods. Now this installation also comes with a demo 
project in an application. The application actually is a running application, Java-based. But if we take a look at this insecure bank deployment pod and scroll up, you'll notice there are some labels here from Black Duck. You can see policy violations. You can also see pod vulnerabilities. See, there's 30 vulnerabilities. And so if we jump over to Synopsys Black Duck, you'll notice I'm going to take a look at the insecure bank image that was scanned with this integration. And you'll see 13 plus 17, that's 30. That's the uh, sum of the critical and high vulnerabilities in this container image. Now this gives you a bunch of data and information on all the open source projects that were found in this container image. Let's just take a quick look at Spring Framework here and the security vulnerabilities. That'll show me the security tab and all the different components that make up this Spring Framework release. So you can see JDBC, Spring Core, Spring AOP, and all the vulnerabilities that are associated with these different components. So if we expand this vulnerability, the CVE 2018-1275, which is a critical vulnerability for this version of Spring Framework, I can dive into the details and get the same amount of information that you would see on the National Vulnerability Database. But as I mentioned earlier, Synopsys has a cybersecurity research center which produces Black Duck security advisories. Black Duck security advisories provide items like a solution, if a fix is available, a workaround, and their own scoring as well. Plus, there's a lot of technical information that is provided by Synopsys also. Okay, so if we go back to the components tab, you'll see all of this information relating to all the components that were identified in this application. It's organized up top here in an aggregate fashion around security risk, which we just looked at, license risk around the open source components and their licenses, and then operational risk. Operational risk are things like how many newer versions of this project are available, when was this version released? And things like commits and contributors. Another great thing about Black Duck is you have the ability to search. And so I'm going to go ahead and search on Heartbleed. And this can search the entire Black Duck knowledge base or any vulnerabilities or components or projects in your server. So you'll notice I have access now to the famous Heartbleed CVE and as well as the BDSA record that was issued for this vulnerability. Okay, so if I go back to the dashboard, there's one last thing I just wanted to demo, and that is the summary tab, which provides a really nice overall view of all your projects that you have on your Black Duck server, things like your project security risk, component security risk, the top components that are used in your projects and some nice stats that you see on the left-hand side. Now let's jump back to the presentation where I wanted to quickly pop up the architecture diagram again. What I just demonstrated is shown here on the right-hand side with the Black Duck connector, which were those four pods in the Synopsys Black Duck project. And we took a look at a Black Duck instance, which in the case of the demo was actually hosted outside of the cluster but you can absolutely deploy your Black Duck instance in OpenShift as well. But don't forget about the left side of this diagram, which I didn't show, but it's worth noting again, all the integrations available to you to catch those risky third-party dependencies early in the DevOps lifecycle. All right, I'd like to thank everyone for watching this demo of Synopsys Black Duck on Red Hat OpenShift. To learn more about this demo, please head on over to demo.openshift.com or the software integrity pages at synopsis.com. Take care, everyone.